Oh, what's going on, peeps? It's Bats1 here for GamerFam.com, joined by Jiz Newcomb in TeamSpeak. Um, giving you a quick tutorial on how to use IRC clients with Twitch, um, mainly being Pigeon in this tutorial. Um, I've just used that for a while, and basically it's really simple to use. Um, I've spent a couple of weeks trying to get IRC connected, going through YouTube videos, looking through comments, and I finally deciphered it yesterday. I deciphered the system, um, and I can get any account to sign in. The problem being is any account that was made something before or after June 22nd, you can't actually use a Twitch password to log into IRC. You have to use what's known as an OAuth TMI password. Um, so... That's what I'm showing you today, so don't actually use your Twitch password, even if you have an account made before that date. Uh, you can actually use your password to sign in, just don't, it you know, saves any trouble or whatnot. Um, saves anyone getting a hold of your password, and if anyone gets your OAuth token, they can get into your account anyway. So make sure to keep your OAuth token hidden once you get it. Um, now, on with the show, what you're going to need to do is download... Uh, client called Pigeon. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, once you've downloaded that, get it all installed and then open it up and click on accounts. Then click uh, manage accounts. And I'll open a little box like this. As you can see, I've already got my other Twitch client in there. Uh, then you just want to click on add, which will not bring another drop, uh, another menu up like this, which will have a drop down option in here in, in basic settings. Uh, just click that. Uh, click on IRC which is about halfway down the list or better or between between a quarter and half anyway um, and what you want to do is get your twitch username and put it all in lowercase here um, as you can see don't mind Internet Explorer guys I use Chrome for my real twitch I use Firefox for my bots twitch and I'm using this for the tutorial um, as you can see my Twitch account is called Twitch underscore IRC underscore tutorial, which will be closed at the end of this, so the passwords that get shown don't matter. Um, so what you want to do is insert that into, uh, he said insert, um, put that into username, all in lowercase. So, yep, spell it right, bats. Twitch IRC tutorial un with the underscore Z all in lowercase as you can see and put the server name as IRC dot twitch dot TV IRC dot twitch dot TV don't use the JTV IRC dot com that people have been linking to other places with your username as the server um, just use this you will be able to log on so long as your username is in lowercase and you use the following setup for the password I will leave a link in the description for this website as well this is the website to get your TMI password or your OAuth for Twitch. Um, now you go to this site and you need to be using the same browser you are logged into the Twitch account you'll want to log in on IRC. Um, then what you will need to do is click login to API and generate password. Once you have clicked that button you'll get this little screen here that asks you through Twitch uh, API.twitch.tv if you wish to authorize this for your account just click authorize and this is a number you don't want anyone to see. Well, this is the uh, the key you don't want anyone to see. That is your OAuth key. So what you need to do is select all of that. Make sure you don't have any spaces or anything selected because once you enter it, you can't actually see the password in Pigeon. Um, so we just want to copy that. We'll go back to Pigeon. And go back to the Add Account screen. Hold on, where are we? There we go. Um, and we just right click paste that into password and click remember password um, you can go back to this TMI password site the password I don't believe ever changes it might change unless you change your twitch uh, if you change your twitch password that I'm unsure of um, so now what you need to do is click add after remembering the password and as you can see there I've got a tick box there uh, you may get this message 
pop up from time to time, just ignore it. It doesn't make a difference. You can't set yourself as a way onto the IRC servers. So that's what that simp message simply means. Um, so you just close that one off. Uh, go back to your buddy list in Pigeon, which is the main uh, screen for that. If you click buddies, click join a chat. And if you go channel, just go hashtag and the channel name you wish to join. So, for example, bats1. And when I click join, so I'm going to drag it across quickly. Oh, no, there it is. And there you go. Connected to the bats1 stream on Twitch TV, I think. I'm pretty sure. Is this connected? I don't know. Uh-oh, what have I done? I screwed something up. No, nope, there we go. It just took a little while to log in. But as you can see, I've now got all the times. Your your massive fail. I don't know what you're talking about, Jizz. You're not even on my on my you're not even on my list. On my stream viewers. I'm upset because of that. <laughs> God, I'm gonna go cry I am. <laughs> um anyway, but as you can see with the IRC client, you get to see when people join, when people leave, um, you get times of everything. It just makes things a lot easier. Um, if you want to join someone else's room, you can type in slash join and then hashtag the room you wish to join or the name of the user you wish to join and press enter or, and as you can see, it joins his room there. It'll take a little while to connect as the last one did. Or you can go back to your buddies list click join a chat and again oh, there you go it's joined in there uh, again hashtag jizz newcomb 88 and there we go connected and there you have it that's how we use uh, that's how I use IRC with Twitch um, trust me guys it makes things a lot easier and once you figure that out um, you can actually use IRC clients on your phone. Makes it a lot easier if you're AFK. You don't want to have to load Twitch or use a third-party app just for Twitch chats, which you know they don't work properly. It's just simple chat. Um, the best part about it is if you have IRC open and just running in the background. If you tend not to just watch videos anyway, IRC doesn't use much internet, so it takes sweet bugger all. It's a good little thing to have running on your phone. Um, that way you can stay on people's channels and get tokens and whatnot if they're giving them out for stream viewers so um, yes i hope you like this tutorial um make sure to jump on gamerfam.com check out our streamers on twitch get on board jump in say hello say you saw the tutorial video and uh yeah make sure to stay well and stay safe and i guess we'll see you next time jeez you're mighty quiet today jeez i got balls of steel and on that note, guys, we're going to leave it at that. So you guys have a good one. And, uh, yeah, remember to get on at GamerFam.com. Whoop, whoop. I don't know what that whoop, whoop is about. Wow. Fam. I know, right? Oh, well, but that ends the video. Catch, guys.